Oh, mortals? It's lantern right time, let's go! Good evening mortals, my name is Jay and welcome to my studio. Today I played the lantern right event in Genshin Impact, one of the biggest events held each year to celebrate Chinese New Year. Let us go join Kaching and Charlotte to discuss the festivities. <laughs> it seems you haven't heard yet. The theme of this year's lantern right is kites. I mean, we could set those on fire and it would be about the same effect. In the end, we decided to combine Liyue's traditional art of kite making with Fontaine's mechanical vertical lifting device. That sounds like a drone. I feel like a drone would make killing monsters so much more efficient than it is. Although I think that's just what America does. Right? I also thought it was a novel idea. Plus, it shouldn't cost much to do. And this is what happens when you have the god more. That pyro flower thingy. That is so cute. Uh, toys? They're not exactly toys. Exactly, Paimon. They're rare collector's editions. Marvels and mechanical engineering, they're not toys whatsoever. Think for a second about how remarkable it is that a flimsy paper kite attached to a string has the capacity to touch the sky. I think you're gonna need a longer string if you're trying to touch the sky. There's an old poem that goes, O kite born of paper, flying true and sound, a lone traveler wanders, just waiting to be found. I'm sure that poem has no relevance to any characters whatsoever. For example, Whenever a kite blew away, people would say it was the Adepti that summoned the wind to take it away as an offering. That way, you can turn an unfortunate event into an auspicious one. Just the Adepti stealing kites from children, as they do. My grandfather told me that, back when he was a boy, children learned the art of kite making step by step from their elders. Oh, I did this. I was taught how to make a kite as a kid. I can't- I don't really remember how to do it, but I did learn I was taught how to do it. Some people write down certain names or desires on their kites, cut the string, and let them fly free. Liyue is gonna have a massive pollution problem in a couple years. Like, people do that shit with balloons and stuff, and yeah, environmental catastrophe. Are certain designs associated with certain meanings? <laughs> I'm gonna jot all of this down. I'm going to jot all this down, and she doesn't get out a notebook. Perfect! We're gonna take a look around! <laughs> this is just Paimon desperately trying to get us out of this conversation. Is it just Paimon? Or were they staring at us the whole time we were talking to Kuching and Charlotte just now? Hmm, they seem fishy. What do you mean, Paimon? They look like normal average citizens. Oh, Paimon's sick of waiting around for something bad to happen. We should strike first, you know? Foil their plans before they even begin? I love it when they have fun with the camera work. The camera angles in Genshin can get a bit stale at times. There's just a lot of slow tracking. But when they have a bit of fun with it like that, it's always just, you know, just nice. You go right, Paimon will go left. Paimon, that's called common assault. We can't do that. Oh well, time to go beat up these fellows. Don't think we didn't notice you eavesdropping. One look and we could tell you were up to no good. Tell us everything, starting with your name. You know that one episode of My Little Pony where Pinkie Pie interrogates Spike about something? I don't remember what. It's giving me that kind of energy. Ah, uh, the drama that came out of these two's, um, designs. I mean, really, it wasn't all that surprising that they got npc defied to death, but it is still kind of a shame. But, I mean, they do still look cool-ish. Yeah, I'm trying to find the positives here, alright, it's, it's a shame. <laughs> Especially when you look at Fujin's design, um, who's the adeptus that appears to you when, when you go to Chen Yun Vale? Not Chen Yun Vale. Is that what it's called? The new Liyue region, when you go there, she greets you and she gives you the quest to kind of guide you through the region. And she's an NPC, but she she's an NPC and an adept eye, and she has this very beautiful, elegant design. It's clearly an NPC design, but it's nice. It's, you know, leveled up a bit. And then you have those two guys who are a bit, oh, uh, you know, magic sparkly carp lady male NPCs with a minor recolor. So I don't really blame people for being all that disappointed in it. I it was kind of funny because part of me was like yeah i kind of expected it also part of me is like oh well it's quite a shame complicated feelings at the sneers lantern right on your way you were accosted by a group of youths and without revealing your true form were unable to extricate yourself of their presence if one's memory serves street word rambler had to personally come to your rescue um grandpa getting assaulted by the local youths you hate to see it with lantern right near at hand one would expect Cloud Retainer to provide us with an account of the festivities in advance. Yet to this day, she has failed to appear. Oh, they said that their friend didn't come visit them. That's very nice. One surmises that she has shut herself away, refused all company, and buried herself in the study of her own creations. 
To call on her would only invite her rebuke. This is very nice. They know well, her well enough to know when she'll kill them. Have a safe trip back. Enjoy the scenery. And happy lantern ride! Manners have definitely improved over the years. I mean, she was just accusing them of crimes, but she, she's politer. What a lovely little doggo. Hmm. We could reenact certain events with that. Yes. The communications office handles shipments and transports around Liyue. He works for the Secure Transport Agency, one of our sub-organizations. That's a lot of technical speech. Oh, I guess we're gonna go find Ga Ming. The aftermath of his announcement was brilliant. I love his design. It's a little... I don't know what... I'm sorry, I don't know what it's called, but he looks so cool. It's really nice. I love seeing the different ways people display their... Um... Visions. I'm just forgetting all my words today, I don't know why. Nope! Our things are always packed and ready! We're pretty much travel experts at this point. By that, by more means, we don't actually own anything. Everything you see on our person, that's it. Ooh, pretty. Ooh, and we've unlocked some the, 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 the other quest bits. Genuine Vale is so pretty. Look at it. So nice. All of Leeway is very pretty. All of Genshin, honestly. <laughs> it's not that tiring. You just have to take a rest. Ah, Paimon gets it, so you must sleep a lot then. Not really. Just yesterday, I stayed up all night playing cards. Yeah, mate, I think we can tell. Look at that bird. That bird is hideous. It's wonderful. It's that bird again. We don't get to see these beautiful sights. Oh, what a lovely new area. Time to steal their things. We don't want to stand underneath an elevator as it's coming down. Do you see that group of people over there? Those are my relatives. Ah. I think I know what his problem might be. They're your family, not your arch enemies. What's there to be afraid of? Unless... Oh, did you do something horrible to them? <laughs> Traveler's expressions are great. I'm just... not that good at dealing with my family. Well, if that isn't the mood in the heart. I hate walking at default speed. <laughs> there we go, we made it successfully. Gaming personally went all the way to Boo Boo Pharmacy to get some medicine for him from Dr. Baiju, then traveled through the night to deliver it back to him. I mean, we did that walk today, and presumably he did it twice a day, maybe? I don't really understand how distance works in Tevat. Because it seems like it'd be a really long journey to cross Liyue. But it doesn't take that long in-game. And characters seem to imply they do it all the time. Just one of those things that I find weird is like, how does time and distance work? Or what are planes of existence? You seem to be around the same age, so you might have a lot in common. Yeah, 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 we're, we're the same age. Really young and youthful in our prime. We should see the kinds of kites they got! Maybe they'll have ones you can't find in Liyue Harbor! Did the traveler just do a little thumbs up? The, the dad that was brilliant. <laughs> I haven't seen them do that before. This, this entire video is just gonna be me going like, Oh wow, look at the little animations, isn't that so lovely? What are you doing here? <laughs> so polite, Paimon. Did you expect one to willfully compete against the whimsical trends of worldly sentiment? Or perhaps even fall to petty sulking over such? Hmm. No, 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 of course not. Your friends think that. <sighs> it appears time has quite flown since one's arrival in Liyue Harbor. How could one have forgotten about those two old fossils? Yeah, forgets about them and then insults them. She's a great friend. She absolutely is, my mom. Ten! A nice round number, don't you think? Of course you do. I'll even shave a little extra off the price for you. Yeah, Sink tells me she just got scammed. Oh, many watchful eyes surround this place. If one were to be spotted purchasing a mechanical toy such as this, a child's plaything, no less, it would only invite scandal. Darling, you're an eons year old adept I just blow them away. Also, this is all pretty well, Xian Yun, but it's not you have to make your own kite to participate in the competition. You can't just buy one ready-made and call it a day. I'm on giving him to capitalism already. God. <sighs> Never mind. It is unlikely the two of you will understand, even should one expend the effort to explain. One is better off saving one's breath. That's cool. The devs didn't want to write up plans for a kite. I wish I had that. Totally. We should probably act like we didn't see anything, though. You know, in consideration of her feelings and all. We didn't see anything, Paimon. 
Woo, we've completed part one. And so we get money. And back to Leo where we go, two days later. Kitty! How cute. <sighs> so full. That meal was so satisfying, it even gave Paimon some extra brain juice. Mmm, we're gonna need a bit more than some. Hmm. Well, when you're on the road as much as I am, you hear all sorts of rumors. Sometimes they're true, sometimes they're not. What it comes down to is being able to tell the difference. More often than not, that means knocking on some doors to find out for yourself. Ah, so he's nosy. Wow, really? I love these little traveler's thoughts, like, really spelling out the plot for me. We got into a huge fight. We we were this close to throwing hands. That That's definitely not a phrase I expected to hear in Genshin Impact. Okay. Ooh, we finished part two. Or well, started part two, my bad. We started part two. Time to make kites on the other side of Leeway. Exactly, it's like, oh, he ran so far to Boo Boo Pharmacy, and I'm like, well, we, we went to the other side of Leeway in, like, an afternoon. You know, he didn't react like, oh, that's such a long trek. It's like, oh, it's, it's a couple hours. Its stimulative effects are much stronger than what can be achieved from chewing on mint leaves alone. Oh, did you know peppermint in mint is very similar to catnip? So if for Christmas, for the festive season, you decide to make these little peppermints that look shaped like little bears, very cute, don't let the cat near them. Because it acts like catnip. Don't ask me how I found that one out. I have nothing to do with me. She's just so pretty, I love her. Plus, it's more meaningful if you make the kite yourself, right? Yep, hi, Mom. Do not hesitate to seek one's company if you have any trouble, questions, or simply want to chat. Hmm, that's definitely not a prompt for the gameplay we're about to go into. We're not in any hurry to get started. Why don't we go see what the others are up to? Once again, that's definitely not a prompt for what we're about to do in the gameplay. Wow. Thank you for explaining the symbolism to me. They're really quite sensitive. I'm curious how much Rule 34 takes advantage of that. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Her lips don't move at all. <laughs> Gonna get and make a kite. The eyes and ears glow in the dark, so you're sure to see it at night. Mm, I wonder if it was inspired by anyone in particular. Ta-da! Here it is! That is brilliant. Oh, one simply must know who it is that possesses such impertinence. And she's gonna throw hands with someone. Traveler, Paimon, could I trouble you to go after Cloud Retainer? Yeah, 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 we'll go make sure she doesn't peck someone's eyes out. Woo, flying through hoops. And she's pecking the fossil's eyes out. One presumes that this kite belongs to you. And they're about to die. I guess we'll leave the old men to their flight, their kite flying. Everyone's already left without us. This is... <gasps> So pretty. Get that ash shot in. They know what the marketing is like. The color black doesn't get dirty easily. A virtue I've come to value recently. It's kind of a double-edged sword. For some spills, it doesn't get dirty easily. But for some, it just becomes a lot more obvious. I wear a lot of black. Hmm. Perhaps Adeptal Arts could be of use. She could definitely use the Adeptal Arts, however I don't think there'd be much reunion afterwards. Now we've actually completed part two this time. And we have to wait another two days, because this seems to really like two days. Uh, it's not just goods this time. I need you to escort a tea merchant and their wares from Chaoying Village to Liyue Harbor. A very important client has requested to meet with him. Hmm, I wonder who this tea merchant could be. <sighs> <laughs> All right, um, don't work too hard now, Longjo. We'll set off then. Oh, we're gonna use his people-pleasing tendencies against him. It's a genius plan. Ooh, part three. Yep, yeah, we're here. You're a bit quiet today, Gumming. Oh, do you want Paimon to tell a story? Please let know. Well, I suppose I will have to trouble you all to escort me, then. Let's go. Well, I'm uh, quite sad we don't have to walk awkwardly alongside them. Present your exquisite ornaments at once. The fanciest highway robber's going. Hey, look at that lizard just standing. I guess no one's found the giant bird watching all that suspicious. Young Lee? Oh no, what is he doing here? Man just flying his ghost kite. If ordinary people like us got involved, we would only cause more trouble. Yes, very ordinary people indeed. I have heard many of my acquaintances praise Gumming for his kind, selfless, and courageous disposition. To have a child so accomplished and upright, 
You must be a very proud parent indeed, Uncle Lip. Uh, using the subtle guilt tripping. You definitely caught on. Indeed, with such a big heart. Why not allocate the time you usually spend worrying about Gaming to the pursuit of other things? Like going for a stroll, drinking tea, or taking in the scenery. And that's the politest way I've ever heard someone say get alive. I'll come right out and say it. Those two bandits, you sent them, didn't you? How, how ever could you see for our very complex land? I'm guessing you guys were trying to help resolve things between my dad and me? No, we, we, we just want to distract him. We could leave, or we could just like stand like this. Yeah? Seems to work for Cloud Retainer. Hello. Oh wow. Yeah. Ah, your arrival is most fortuitous. Do you want to try out this new gadget? Ah, father, son, kite flying together. That's so sweet. In truth, I'm here because Director Hu dispatched me to purchase some items in preparation for Lantern Rite. Ah, oh, so he's just bunking off work. It wouldn't hurt to grace the parlor with your presence now and again, when you are otherwise unoccupied. Come on, Zhao, you need to vi visit your father every now and again. I'll leave these two kites with you. Perhaps you can find a few friends with which to partake in the activity. You might find it to be an enjoyable use of your time. Oof, I think you to get some friends as well. Mm. Kite flying is also a pleasant form of relaxation. Whenever I've tried to fly a kite, it is always comes a bit stressful. But maybe I'm just bad at kite flying. That was a smooth transition. Do you remember the plan one recounted to you? Yes, Master. We aim to give them a demonstration of familial love. <laughs> well, it's definitely an idea. Drunk guests can sometimes cause trouble. But I deal with them as you taught me, by pinning their heads against the table. He's so pretty and elegant and graceful. <sighs> the poor child. Her one friend can't even talk. I guess maybe Gaming is not doing so <laughs> Uh, my son's a disappointment, but he's not that big of a disappointment. Uh, brilliant work, ladies, I guess? Ooh, kites. And Charlotte. Kind of forgot about her for a minute. Okay. Whew. So, it's like this. Hmm, what an interesting plan he has developed. Since Xiao already tested out those kites for us, why don't we also go buy one of those mechanical thingamabobs or whatever they're called? We can attach it to our kite! Back to the kite stall, then. Ah, yes. Here you go. Please, take it. Free of charge. Woo, I love free stuff. Wow, this lantern's appeared so magically. Now oh, time to bring in lantern right properly. Wow? That obviously was... wow? That was such a cool little cutscene. So accusing all the characters enjoying land and road together. Now let's go intrude on their sweet moment. And there we go, we've completed part three. Well, for this next part, we'll be disregarding the game's progression system and just going straight to it. We didn't have anything else to do today, right? Why don't we go have a look around? Maybe we'll run into her. Yes, we're going to the village. I should repeat that. They're definitely excited. I have to say, sometimes the Steambird's astrology column is spot on. I'm just not surprised now he is an astrology girl. Sure is! Having loud voice is a handy tool when it comes to communication. Yeah, just shout over people. That, that, that always works. <sighs> not really. If I ever get stressed, I just go hunting. Murder! Yay! Mm. What I choose to hunt depends on my mood. Now it's starting to sound like people hunting. I think so. Uh, we ran into Nervalet on the way here as well, but he was already on his way back, so they probably weren't together. Probably thought she was with him. You know, we've all left the child behind somewhere. So many people from Fontaine, it's almost like this is a collaboration between the two regions. The tea purchase is simply an added bonus of this location. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Certainly, certainly. You didn't really buy ten boxes, did you? I'm sure Risley won't complain. Hmm. Down the mountain we go, I guess. Oh, fringe. Wonderful. Hmm, I think we figured out where we're going. Oh, or maybe Hu Tao is trying to rope Farina into being one of her clients. To be fair, she did recently miss a brilliant marketing opportunity. Let's say, loser buys the winner three huge bowls of seafood kanji. 
I would just like to say, Paimon doesn't have any money. I like her hair as well. It's a nice bob. Given his breadth of knowledge on both academic and worldly matters, there's no way he hasn't heard about what happened in Fontaine. He's just polite. He's not going to bring this up. Miss Farina is now one of my esteemed clients. Here we win. Since both of our guesses were right, there can't be a winner or a loser. This seems incredibly unfair. We found out who tells information first. I win still. It's someone you know. Wanna take a guess? What? How did you guess that on your first try? Um, uh, intuition. I love the little dog that's just watching us. Ah, uh, no wonder. He was stiff as a board and way too polite. I would have never guessed he was here on vacation if you hadn't told me. <laughs> just calling him a bit of a shun, but yeah, fair enough. I actually think you two would have hit it off. Hmm, they would have hit it off, all right. Yeah, there's a chest there. Moran. So that's how you pronounce the name. I don't think I've seen anyone pronounce it right. So glad they're saving us another introduction. Why did he take them? Oh, he's not hoarding treasure, is he? Well, he is a dragon. He even offered to deliver my gifts to the fortress of Meripede for me once he's done with the day's work. Well, of course he'd taken any opportunity to go there. And back in Fontaine. I haven't actually explored any Fontaine, but I have oh. this waypoint. Unlocks because it's the closest one to the Opera House. And me and some friends were messing about in the opera house. Trying to see how high we can get up on the beams. We can get into Farina's seat. Turns out you can literally just scale the walls with Geo Traveler. Mm, and we found new flat. That was easy. So working late is of little consequence to me. Yes. W yeah, we, we we can tell once again. It was buy ten boxes, get half off. Ah. And we have found another victim. During my travels recently... I chanced upon a roadside stall offering tourists the opportunity to try their hand at the ceramic arts. So I decided to have a go. Aww, a little homemade gift. Indeed. Of course, while I was there, I also took the opportunity to taste the local spring water. I'm just imagining him there with, like, just a cup and dipping it into the water. While just some leeway resident looks on in horror. This is also something I made today. Ah. <gasps> It is wonderful. Let's look at this little ladle. Um, look at it. This is adorable. Oh, there we go. We've completed all four parts. Now we just have our slightly smaller quests to do. It's so weird going from like a fully voice act quest to silence. Ooh, we get to watch a theatre performance. Obviously, this theatre is a quest. But yeah. Yay, we did it. Yay, we did the next day. Yay, we did it. That wasn't actually that complicated. I'm just stupid. Yay. Yay. I have no idea how many levels left this is. We're just going to keep going. Yay, we did it. That one required a bit of thinking. It's quite the shock to the system. Oh, we've made a dish. Yay! And now we get to claim all the rewards in one go. Oh, we get a new recipe. I love getting new recipes. I'm probably never going to cook the food, but I like having them. Well, what's next? Joyful beasts and their auspices. Auspices? Auspices? Words. Now we wait to see if anyone's still playing. Eleven times knocked back. I'm really good at this game. Let's see if we do slightly better in any of the other rounds. I lost in danger zones 20 times. <laughs> Great. You can get Jing Cho's new outfit now. It's a really nice outfit. I need to kill to have a jacket like this. Well, let's just try and not fail at this one again. We did slightly better that round. Look, we didn't even get knocked back. Oh, we knocked back the most participants, see? Oh, we're improving. Our score's not much higher, but we are improving slightly. Oh, I'm still in co-op mode. I fucking hate co-op mode. I don't like how it doesn't just automatically turn off. Did we? I guess we did. Let's go cloud destroying. And there we go, just like that. We've completed that part of the lantern row. But we have met our full 1,200, means we get all our prizes. And we get to pick a 4-star. And I have no idea who I want, because I've got them, 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 and them. So, I can have Ningguang, Yanfei, Beidou, and she looks super duper cool and I can never remember her name. Jinyin. Hmm. Hmm. Pretty pirate lady, pretty geo lady. Hmm. 
Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna get her because I think she's pretty. Yeah, some people are like, oh, she's bad for the meta. Shut up. Genshin Impact's like Pokemon. You know, there, there, there is like a competitive scene that if you were interested in, you can do. Like your Eevee and your Ivy training and stuff. But also you can win with whatever the fuck you want. It's not a hard game. Genshin Impact is very much the same. My team is comprised of whoever I like because, once again, it's not a very hard game. So I want her because she's pretty and cool and look, she has giant spikes in her hair. Well, here we are back at the rooftop I think we started on. Looking out over Leeway Harbour, as Lantern Rite comes to its conclusion in a few days. As I said at the top of this video, this was my first Lantern Rite, and I was thoroughly surprised. Well, pleasantly surprised. You've met new characters, simped over old ones, and watched an old man run from another old man. All in all, it's been a wonderful time, and I can't wait to come back again next year, assuming the world doesn't explode. And so, as we watch the lanterns float away, I must bid you all good night.